on Lunatics, the amount of burns that you're about to experience from Luna Classic is on another level. Now the question is, is it going to matter? Will everybody adopt it? Because we do have this problem here. We're trading about $14 million per day right now. If that's the case, then we're gonna burn a significant amount of supply every single day. Now, that's not going to be in the trillions unless volume picks up, but I'm gonna show you the math on it. So in case we see something like we're doing by dollar, then this is there's a radical amount of burns that are gonna be happening in the total of billions every single day day now if you like this type of content make sure you hit the like button on the way in uh let's kick this off and let's talk about something in the new all right guys first up the sec updates terraform lab victims post 4.5 billion dollar settlement deal i would encourage you to go look this up this is a notice to creditors uh, it, it was letting you know as part of the settlement uh kwan has transferred 204 million hey the broke guy the guy that didn't have any money who was hiding out in montenegro has 204 million dollars huh the broke, the broke one, remember? He told you he was broke. The assets will contribute to the compensation of infected investors. Now, by the way, I do want to say that I was pro Duquan, and I still think the the, the guy probably got a uh, an unfair shake, but as evidence has started to present itself, uh, we do know that he took a lot, and I mean a lot. Also, uh, the information on how you can file it. So uh, we'll see how this plays out, but nothing really that we don't know all. Moving on to the news. Uh, an explanation of why, remember, Terra was hacked yesterday or the day before, and it's now $6 million that was stolen from Terra through the IB communication. Now, this was patched by Luna Classic way back in May as the Terra ecosystem did nothing about it, which is really, really odd and begs the question, the hacker, why wouldn't they patch it? If something as quote unquote dead as Luna Classic is working on it making sure that it's not hackable why wouldn't there's a question here that we're going to have to ask at some point but let's move on uh so removing the kyc proposal there's only one comment i don't think anybody's really i don't think anybody really worried of this at all uh, and by the way if you are worried about it the place that you would kyc is somebody like certic you wouldn't kyc with me it would be with a professional organization so uh if you say well i don't want people from my job to know what i'm doing well they don't and we won't. The only people who would know is a company who would come at you in case you tried to steal. So uh, the arguments, they fall under. I, I understand the need for anonymity, but, uh, and I appreciate the fact that you need some sort of anonymity. I'm not saying that, you know, you wouldn't be otherwise entitled to it, but you are entitled to it. Uh, there are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy Updates where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy Finance to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day. And Cryptonomy Community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin, 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, a couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're going to make another big deposit. I'm going to use 406 million SHIB. I'm going to stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now, going to be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY, we're going to continue that. We're going to accept. All right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon, 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you gotta stake with cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out cryptonomy.finance today.
in a specific set of circumstances. So, you know, I'm going to be opposed uh, to removing the KYC proposal. I don't want people who I don't know uh, playing with my money, no matter. Let's look at the price action. A price action here, uh, a steady decline over the last couple of hours. Now, the, the day started off uh, pretty bad from the FOMC meeting yesterday uh, as we got to the hourly. You can see here that we had this broad sort of sell-off right after the FOMC meeting where we did not do a rate cut. Uh, and it was most of the market. It's not just Luna Classic. If you look at the entire market, it looks the same. Just a, And this is basically when you look at it, this is a broad sell-off. And I'm going through multiple projects right now. And I'm showing you this same chart pattern exists over and over and over. Or a very similar chart pattern. Just a broad dump in the market of about $47 billion. We're down about $9 billion on the day. Now, we were up at one. You know, the, the market is the market. The, the makers, if you will, uh, they're doing whatever it is that they do. Uh, to bleed the market dry, it'll come back. Now, uh, the question, of course, is, as I keep telling you guys, what about a breakout? Are we going to have a breakout and back towards this upside? Well, the burn just happened, and we're not getting a spike from that, so it won't come from this burn. Now, over the next couple of hours, there are some burns um, that, that, you know, one point, we're gonna, actually, you know what, let's go talk about it. There was 1.171 billion Lunk that were just burned. It's not updated over here on Lunk metrics. So, you know, the, but the calculus here, uh, 1.1, so 129.46 billion. So, um, you know, not, not impressive this month. Uh, a lot of volume down. However, that doesn't mean that all is lost because something just changed. Remember, this is 1.17 billion. What matters right now? And you have to ask yourself, a very honest question. Does the Binance trade volume matter? Does all of, do all these other trade volumes matter? Or is what matters burning tokens? And the one thing that we have to do is strike a balancing act between trade volume and that burn tax. Now, if we reimplement the 1.5% burn tax, it's almost assured that Binance will probably no longer support the, and that should be fair and everybody should understand that that might be the case. But here is the other part of this, and I wanna make this as quickly as possible. Did some calculating. In the event that we were to burn, and let's say that we're trade volume here is, and I did the numbers up here. Uh, so let's say our trade volume is gonna be $14 million a day. And let's say that the burn is gonna be 1.5% off of trade volume, because that's the way that it works, buys and sells, 14 million, 1.15. So that means that $210,000 per day off of 14 million would be burnt. The current trading price right now is four zeros eight. So in the event that that were to happen, uh, then this money right here, this $210,000 would automatically, and by the way, it wouldn't be converted to money or anything like that, but just stick with me here because it's gonna be based on the price action. But at a price action of four zeros eight, then we would be burning 2.6 billion tokens per day. Math, very simple. So now, and by the way, uh, th some of this is gonna go back to the Oracle replenishment. It, it, so it's not all gonna end up being burned, but um, there's a, that's a significant amount. That, that is a significant amount. So, uh, but again, we're talking about 1.5% of the, this, this transaction. So that's a, that's a significant amount, 2.6 billion per day. Now, if we were just to consider if we had that going since May of 2022, that is, uh, that would be 2.6 billion less anything else that, that might have. But if you just consider 2.6 billion per day for somewhere near 700 day or, but let's just say 2 billion per day um, over seven, that's 1.4 trillion, okay? 1.4 trillion versus 131 billion. So there is a significant opportunity to burn an enormous amount of the supply. This could be a game changer. Now, the problem, problem continues to be this, uh, with 34% increase in volume, by the way, to take it to 14 million, which is where I got this total from, but here it is right here. These are the numbers. We don't know the accuracy of some of these. We have moderate level of confidence on some of the exchanges that are seeing and reporting some large amounts. We don't know if that's the case, or we do know with high accuracy that Binance has a lot of trade volume. And if that is the case, and if there's about 6 million per day, are we prepared to lean per day? Well, I would argue that even if that happened, and even if our volume got cut down to 5 million, uh, that would be a third. If we take a third of 1.4 trillion, uh, then that's seven, that's 600, 500, 450 billion tokens. How much did we burn so far? 
128 billion. So it would still be four times as much if we lost this volume from Binance. So if you ask me, I'm going to be all aboard. I think it's worth the risk. Please, did you say risk? So guys, if you haven't already, please go Terra Casino. They're a sponsor of the channel, terraport.finance, sponsor of the channel. These are the guys that make this happen. If you like content, if you like the fact that I bring you Rocket, if you like the fact that we talk about Raycon, if you like the fact that we talk about the food token, if you like the fact that we talk about Roddy, if you like the fact that we talk about all these different tokens in this ecosystem and all these different projects and the Jurist Protocol from Raycon, where we're going to rebuild Anchor Protocol or at least a semblance of the Anchor Protocol. If we're putting all of these things together and we're doing all these things, then in order for me to keep providing this information to you, you gotta sign up for Terraport.finance. You gotta sign up for Terra Casino. Start doing some some crazy stuff uh, today. But you can trade Lunk, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BSD, uh, Polygon, Matic, Litecoin, uh, which Tron, if you wanted to, USDT, USDT, Dogecoin. I mean. You know, you have nothing to lose, <laughs> but every, uh, of course, if, if you don't gamble, right, do it right. But come on, guys, there's sports coming very, very soon. So make sure you sign up today. And while you're signing up, remember uh, to come over to terraport.finance, do some trading, give a little bag of each one of these meme coins. As you can see from my list over here, I've got an extensive list of these meme coins right now that I'm holding on to. Small amounts. These are very, these are micro caps. So when you come over here and you look at you know what their what their overall market caps are and stuff like that then you'll find there's i mean they're not gigantic market caps the one big big market cap right now luna classic that's, that's the only one with a gigantic market cap and you should say that but i mean some of these are just they're basically money, okay um you know uh, go to roddy over here i'll just look at it what is the market cap 14.1 uh, k market cap so this thing could go to 50k market cap easy three yeah so and that's the way that all of these work the ones that are traded a lot right you can come over here and look at uh rakoff rakoff now rakoff market cap is 53,000 in liquidity so uh, fair dollar value is 4.1 million so their market cap might be a bit higher you know it might be a terra level something like that but you know guys all you have to do come over here and start trading today on terraport.finance and one of these things is gonna take off uh rakoff roddy one of them is going to have an explosive move to get left behind and you could have used that money to buy yourself more lunk. So uh, check it out today. All right, guys, no active proposals. So uh, that's going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're going to burn a lot of tokens with this 1.5% gas tax in the event that it passes, in the event that it's put into a position where, you know, the yes is the answer. That we are going to burn a significant amount of tokens. But don't take my word for it. Use math because that math, maths. The question is where the volume comes from so you know it, it could be that all of a sudden we're sitting on terraport.finance that's where we're trading right now uh because we're trading our luna classic at that place uh so sign up today uh and uh these people at binance the the people who are actively trading this every day trying to uh you know make a make a, a buck there's an, an accumulation going on and you should know that and you know not to get on a a, a, a tangent here but if we're going to burn significant amount of supply and we've got continued peak staking over a trillion tokens and we've still got trade volume so got decent trade volume if not but still decent trade volume all of these things imagine about the, just imagine the one day when trade volume you know we get some kind of mag, just crazy burn or something like that a hundred million dollars traded what about when there's 200 million traded we're just talking about an average of 14 million per day right so there's a significant portion there's a, a significant amount of supply that could really be burned right here and uh, don't take my word for it again go read the white paper go do the math go check this thing out because it could get absolutely insane and it won't take binance it won't take okx it won't take all of these other guys it will just take the people who are willing to implement and willing to so um there we go that's uh that's it you guys i i'm super excited like i i you know the one thing that i i you know i didn't realize at this point but this is the one that takes us to a penny this is the one that takes us to a dollar it's going to take a long time but it will get us there now. That is a clear path to getting the question. Questions just one of exchanges. That's that's the question. And how are they going to help? But let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.